All right, so it's time. I've got some more of this vinyl wrap, this cloth wrap, it's not vinyl wrap. I've got some more of this wrap here, this material. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna prep these doors now, start stripping off what I need to be stripped off. Uh, take this off again. I'll start with that one. Good old Zelensky, top man. Uh, you can see here we've got literally ne nearly a foot either side of the door. I want to maintain that. Right, okay, I've wrapped that round the door. We're in position, so that is overhanging a foot either side and I've tucked it round here and just clamped it on there. So I want to go down to the bottom now, find the bottom. There we are. I want this to come down further, about another foot just down there. So I've got plenty to go at. And what I'm going to do is just cut straight through that. Just to check that when you do start gluing this down, you're not going to pull it short to the bottom. So I always pull it up just to give myself a little bit more space. So where all your angles are, the door structure itself which is there I come down here now and I've got plenty so what I want to do is just pinch this there that's the bottom of the door that is the bottom of the door there make sure that I've got at least another foot there about here Get yourself some sharp scissors as well because this this stuff is quite tough. Right, so I could measure this out for the other door, cut that, and then straight. Crack it. One thing I have done is take a photograph of the door from the front and the sides and the back because I will need to cut out stuff like this for the door locks and etc. I need to cut certain things out, um, so I've got a picture to actually see what's there if I miss anything. So this will be cut out, I'll wrap this, but it will be cut out round about here. We don't want excess material preventing those clips to fasten. What's that for? Does that hit something in there? I don't know what that is for. Um, yeah, so other thing I've done is I've got the file sander and just gone over the burrs on the edges where the guys who did the ply line have just literally screwed it straight into the door metal there pretty brutal um so there were some burrs on the edge of it it was sharp so what i've done is gone around with a foul sander every one of those scrolls and made it nice and flush right it's time to start i've given the door wipe down degrease it got all the crap off it I'm ready to start let's do it let's get it hooked over Okay, this is this is just same as spraying a vehicle. You don't if you're too far away, it's going to dry by the time it lands. If you're too close, it's going to run. It's no different to spraying paint actually. But if you stand back around about 12 inches, you get a good spread just like that. Don't panic if the glue starts to dry because you can just spray some more on. Actually, if you layer it up, start with like that. You're waiting for the solvents to go off before the glue does. Try and get the angles as well. Symmetrical, straight lines. You can get plenty in these corners, these grooves. Right, let's drop this down. Peg down, peg down. Start to press that on. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is spray across this line here. And you wanna keep your lines straight. If you if your lines, glue lines are wavy, you're gonna start missing spots in here. So you wanna make sure the entire thing's covered. Thank you. 
you see it bunching up here on the corners don't worry about that get the internal edge done first and we'll come to that in a minute i'll show you how to deal with it right once again excuse me with the bad cinematography it's black it's dark so it's a little difficult to see um you can see here where i'm getting what's called the curtain effect if i do that you can see it bunching up see that there so it's bunching up and that looks like it's going to be a nightmare doesn't it don't worry about it what you have to do with this stuff is pull it tight see how if i pull that tight it's gone that's what you do when you're gluing it pull it tight it'll be gone don't worry about these little loose bits so what you want to do on these corners is just stick to getting these edges pressed down and work your way out don't pull this tight and then glue those edges down otherwise they'll just pull away so we've got what's called like the curtain effect here again which i call it that i don't know whether there's a technical term for it or not but again when you come to it you simply pull it tight and it just goes just like that goes away all right same here you can see it bunching up there if that was vinyl wrap it'd be a nightmare wouldn't it i won't be able to do this so just by pulling that material tight working your hands up there you'll get rid of it when you come to glue it but take your time okay same with this end here that's nicely stuck in that corner if it's not stuck down peel it back put some more glue on and get it stuck down in corners there's nothing worse than it bubbling up and pulling away all right so what we're going to do now i'll leave all this until the very last i'm going to keep working my way up into these corners here okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to continue all the way up here now i'm going to push it into these corners and probably put some glue here i don't really want to leave it sat in this corner uh, i'm going to go for it. i'm going to cover this in glue and just around here and, and get it pulled around all right almost ready to overlap that over there you see how again now i've got another bit of curtaining effect there pull it it's gone so if, if you pull so if you don't try to bleed it out like this you can do we might push it somewhere else so all you'll simply do and find one actually it's gonna put that one back in <laughs> just for demonstration can't right so if you get them like this pull upwards and, and left and right gone like that up pull it out same here each side work your way around it it should get rid of all of those like here look gone all right easy now because it's all flat Right, so I'm going to do this 
edge now those screws there I've, I've slackened them off so they're not tight and what I'm going to do is glue over them feel where they are put a little slit in it pull that screw out and screw it back in I'm not going to I've done this before where uh, I removed the screws on other parts of the van and va wrapped over it and poked a, a hole to try and find where they are you end up pushing some of this material in and gets caught in the threads so that's what I will be doing with that. This won't affect the door lock by the way. It does actually come off areas where you don't want to as well. Do it as quick as I can. And now I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, so I'm going to leave that where it is, down here, where the door hinges. I'm going to carefully cut across here, and where that cable ducting goes there, the same here, I'm going to cut across the middle of that, and try and fold these around the back, and later I will cut in there, just to get that nice and flat and flush, and work my way down. So I'm going to glue it, get this corner first, this edge corner first and push inwards just like that all the way to the edge Right then, that's all trimmed and ready to go. So all I need to do now is fit that board on there. I've cut out, um, I've cut round here, and I've cut round the door locks and done the what I said with those bolts there. It's all been trimmed all the way around there. I need a lighter, so or some sort of soft flame. Go around the edges, just like that. Make sure I have a fire extinguisher as well. And just watch your fingers. Go around all the edges and cauterize it. Stops it from fraying. Obviously it's a split second thing, so don't hold it down until you set the whole place ablaze. That'd be a play with fire, make sure you got something to put it out as well. Spot on. Uh, 
I wrapped this handle as well the other day. Uh, what I did do is I, I wrapped it with the bolt, the screws inside there and just cut a little slot that way. I can get my screwdriver in to remove it in future. All right. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to crack on with the other door and that should be completed. Uh, I'll need to do that little bit down the bottom there. Uh, I'll do the ceiling another time. I'll get some more wrap and do the ceiling. I want to have a think about what I can attach to it actually. The ceiling. I'm thinking of getting some MDF board, soundproofing the back of it, wrapping the front of it, pinning that up so I'll, I'll screw it to actually here. Screw it to those stringers, not to this obviously. Screw it to those and then I might even put on some kind of retractable awning that comes out here that comes out like that some uh, yeah right so time for the other door and that'll be time for bed I think So it's all completed, everything's completed on these doors now, nothing more to do. The, the interior is fully wrapped, minus the roof. But check these doors out. This is not really a hard thing to do at all. So I've locked myself in, these lights are bloody bright aren't they, but don't you think that's cool? Love it. I don't like that silver door latch there though, I'm going to paint that I think. Paint it black just so it matches. But I love that. Absolutely spot on. It is easy to do this, you know. Um, like I say, if you've done vinyl wrapping on, on cars or bikes before, this is way easier to do. It's quite forgiving. Um, I'm, I'm so pleased with it. It looks better in person than it does on camera, though. But this is lovely. A lot cooler. All I need to do is now is give it a little bit of a vac, just to get rid of all these loose bits. And there we go. And I'm not locked in. The doors don't stick or nothing like that. There we go. Lovely that. Okay. Oh, and I've done that step down there as well. So next thing is the roof, but I'll save that, save that for a later date. What I'm going to do now, or tomorrow, is put my aluminium strip across these edges, neaten that up. Right then, so I'll catch you next time.